Good afternoon, viewers, parishioners, friends, benefactors. Welcome to St. Joseph Parish, where we are streaming live the Good Friday Liturgy. At this time, the priest enters the church in silence. Spoken any falsehood. 
but the Lord was pleased to crush him in infirmity. If he gives his life as an offering for sin, he shall see his descendants in a long life, and the will of the Lord shall be accomplished through him. Because of his affliction, he shall see the light in fullness of days. Through his suffering, my servant shall justify many, and their guilt he shall bear. Therefore, I will give him his portion among the great, and he shall divide the spoils with the mighty, because he surrendered himself to death, and he was counted among the wicked. And he shall be taken away, he shall take away the sins of many, and with pardon for their offenses. The word of the Lord. Glory and praise to you, Lord. 
Lord Jesus Christ. Christ became obedient for us, even to the dying on the cross. Therefore God raised him high and gave him the name above all other names. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The flash of our Lord Jesus Christ, our glory to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went out with his disciples across the Kidron Valley to where there was a garden into which he and his disciples entered. Judas, his betrayer, also knew the place because Jesus had often met there with his disciples. So Judas got a band of soldiers and guards from the chief priests and the Pharisees and went there with lanterns, torches, and weapons. Jesus, knowing everything that was going to happen to him, went out and said to them, Who are you looking for? They answered him, he said to them, I am. Judas, his betrayer, was also with them. When he said to them, I am, they turned away and fell to the ground. So he again asked them, Who are you looking for? They said, Jesus, and Jesus answered, I told you that I am. So if you are looking for me, let these men go. This was to fulfill what he had said. I have not lost any of those who you gave me. Then Simon Peter, who had a sword, drew it, struck the high priest's slave, and cut off his right ear. The slave's name was Malchus. Jesus said to Peter, Put your sword in his cover. Shall I have drink the cup the Father gave me? So the band of soldiers, the tribune, and the Jewish guards seized Jesus, bound him, and brought him to Annas first. He was the father-in-law of Caiaphas, who was high priest that year. It was Caiaphas who had counseled the Jews that it was better that one man should die rather than the people. Simon Peter and another disciple followed Jesus. Now the other disciple was going to the high priest and he entered the courtyard of the high priest with Jesus. But Peter stood at the gate outside. So the other disciple, the acquaintance of the high priest, went out and spoke to the gatekeeper and brought Peter in. Then the maid who was the gatekeeper said to Peter, You're not one of these man's disciples, are you? He said, I am not. Now the slaves and the guards were standing around a charcoal fire that they had made because it was cold and were warming themselves. Peter was also standing there keeping warm. The high priest questioned Jesus about his disciples and about his doctrine. Jesus answered him, in public land, who were. I have always taught in the synagogue and the temple area where all the Jews gathered in secret and I said nothing. Why ask me? Ask those who heard me what I said to them. They know what I said. When he had said this, one of the temple guards standing here struck Jesus and said, Is this the way you went to the high priest? Jesus answered him. If I have spoken wrongly, it's hard to talk. But if I have spoken rightly, why do you strike me? Then Anna sent him bound to Caiaphas, the high priest. Now Simon Peter was standing there keeping warm, and they said to him, You are not one of the disciples, are you? He denied it and said, I am not. One of the slaves of the high priest, a relative of the one whose ear Peter had cut off, said, Again, Peter denied it. And immediately the cock crowed. Then they brought Jesus from Caiaphas to the Praetorium. It was morning. And they themselves did not enter the Praetorium in order not to be defiled so they could eat the Passover. So Pilate came out to them and said, What charge do you bring against this man? They answered and said to him, If you were not a criminal, he would not have handed him over to you. At this, Pilate said to them, The Jews answered him, We do not have the right to execute anyone. In order that the word of Jesus might be fulfilled, that he said, indicating the kind of death he would die. 
So Pilate went back into the praetorium, summoned Jesus, and said to him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, You say this on your own, or have others told you about me? Pilate answered, I am not a Jew, am I? Your own nation and the chief priests handed you over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom does not belong to this world. If my kingdom did belong to this world, my attendants would fight you to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not here. So Pilate said to him, Then you are a king. Jesus answered, You say I am a king. For this I was born, and for this I came to the world. That's my truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. Pilate said to him, What is truth? When he had said this, he again went out to the Jews and said to them, I find no guilt in him. But you have a custom that I release one prisoner to you at Passover. Do you want me to release the king of the Jews? They cried out again. No, Barabbas was a revolutionary. Then Pilate took Jesus and had him scourged. And the soldiers wove a crown of thorns and placed it on his head and clothed him in a purple cloak. And they came to him and said, And they struck him repeatedly. Once more, Pilate went out and said to them, Look, I am bringing him out to you, so that you will know that I find no guilt in him. So Jesus came out wearing the crown of thorns and the purple cloak. And Pilate said to them, when the chief priests and guards saw him, they cried out, Crucify him! Crucify him! Pilate said to them, Take him yourselves and crucify him. I find no guilt in him. The Jews answered, We have a law, and according to that law, he ought to die. He ought to himself the Son of God. Now when Pilate heard this statement, he became even more afraid, and went back into the praetorium, and said to Jesus, Jesus did not answer him. So Pilate said to him, Do you not speak to me? Do you not know that I have power to release you and power to crucify you? Jesus answered him, You would have no power over me if it had not been given to you from above. But it's great. The one handed me over to you has been sin. Consequently, Pilate tried to release him, but the Jews cried out, If you release him, He brought Jesus out and seated him on the judge's bench in the place called Stone Pavement, in Hebrew, Gabbatha. It was preparation day for Passover, and it was about noon. And he said to the Jews, Behold your king. They cried out, Take him away, take him away, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priest answered, you have no king but Caesar. Then he handed him over to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus and carrying the cross himself, he went up to what is called the place of the skull, in Hebrew, Golgotha. There they crucified him, and with him two others, one on either side, with Jesus in the middle. Pilate also had an inscription written and put on the cross. It read, Jesus, the Nazarene, the King of the Jews. Now, many of the Jews read this inscription because the place where Jesus had been crucified was near the city, and it was written in Hebrew, Latin, and Greek. So the chief priests of the Jews said to Pilate, Pilate answered, When the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his clothes and divided them into four shares, a share for each soldier. They also took his tunic, but the tunic was seamless, woven in one piece from top down. So they said to one another, Let us not hear it, but cast lots for it to see who it will be. In order that the passage of scripture might be fulfilled that says, they divided my garments among them, and for my vesture they cast lots. This is what the soldiers did. 
Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, then he said to the disciple, and from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. After this, aware that everything was now finished, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled, Jesus said, I thirst. There was a vessel filled with common wine. So they put a swan stalk in a wine sprig of his up and put it to his mouth. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, It is finished. And bowing his head, he handed over the spirit. Now, since it was preparation day, in order that the bodies might not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, for the Sabbath day of that week was a solemn one, the Jews asked Pilate that their legs be broken and that they be taken down. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and then of the other one who was crucified with Jesus. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one soldier thrust his lance into his side, and immediately blood and water flowed out. An eyewitness has testified, and his testimony is true. He knows that he is speaking the truth, so that you may also come to believe. For this happened so that the scripture passage might be fulfilled. Not a bone of it will be broken. And again, another passage says, they will look upon him whom they have pierced. After this, Joseph of Arimathea, secretly a disciple of Jesus, revered of the Jews, asked Pilate if he could remove the body of Jesus. And Pilate permitted it. So he came and took his body. Nicodemus, the one who had first come to him at night, also came bringing a mixture of myrrh and aloes, weighing about 100 pounds. They took the body of Jesus and bound it with burial cloths along with the spices according to the Jewish burial custom. Now, in the place where he had been crucified, there was a garden. And in the garden, a new tomb in which no one had yet been buried. So they laid Jesus there because of the Jewish preparation there for the tomb was close by. come together this afternoon to recall a terrible day in history when the state of the world was inspired. Several writers have tried to describe this horrendous day and what happened on this day. A man, a innocent man, was sentenced to death in most infamous Way. There were people who hated him with all kinds of words thrown at him. People mocked him. There are those who despised him bitterly and so forth. There are those who worked with him at one time in view of him, who made a turn against him and who shouted, who stood by him, and was of those who stood by him, not saying anything. Our Lord Jesus Christ freely allowed himself to go through all of this. In his freedom, he chose to carry the cross all the way to Calvary. In his freedom, he allowed himself to put to death. And of course, even while he was on the cross, there were those who questioned him about his power. 
Yes, you save others. You perform any miracles for others. And now you are here. Why don't you save your son? It reminds us of the temptation of Jesus in the desert. Because he was tempted there. And now, why the cross? He's facing temptation. Because there are those who want to see how big he is. Why he is for others? Shows how powerful you are. How great you are. Come down. That's a temptation. But just himself. He has said, but well, you know what? I need not to go one of this. I don't allow myself to be a, a fool of, to be mocked by people of power. I have power. I can use his power. But he did not. He served himself. He allowed himself to go through all of that. Why? Because he identified himself in solidarity with humanity. He came down to our world to share our lot. He took on our nature. And as we read, he died the death. He suffered and died. As we will die. In solidarity with humanity. But he had to assure us. He had to assure us that it's not over yet. It is no plaything. He made it die. He died. And you know, as I read about this fiction, how hard it was. We are told they did not break him as bones because he was already dead. But they break the bones of others. Imagine you take a mallet and just smash that person. How do they? They did not do that to Jesus because he was already dead. Much to Pilate's surprise. Yes, he died. He shared in our what we have to go through. But we know what eventually happened. You asked what he said about himself. You know, he destroyed his temple in three days. I will build it. That the Allies did not comprehend fully what he was talking about. Later on, he came to understand what he was talking about. But it's important for you and myself on this day, the Friday, good Friday. I said, we are so good about the suffering, went through our horrendous uh, persecution all kind of bustling and all kind of terrible things was about you. You kind of have a weight. You fell and went across. You know, crucified mm -hmm. on the cross. Left in open, your side pierced. And that's what you want that. It's good because he paid the price. You know what I mean? He gave his life so that you and I could be saved. That you and I can share in glory. No one has done that. It's important to contemplate that. I've been journey through life. But no one has. Nothing can be offered to learn from me. But Jesus, the God man, that perfect sacrifice was offered. He offered himself. So that you and I could be saved. So we can journey through life. Not despondent. Because we're going through this world, there are many things that will upset us, disturb us. But Jesus is going passion, his passion and resurrection offers to myself the opportunity to endure much in this world. And us to look forward to better things, to a new life in God. We will observe on Easter Sunday. And of course today, the Friday, the nice yes, he gave his life for us.
And now we have in the sessions. Let us stand for the Holy Church. Let us pray. Dearly really beloved, for the Holy Church of God, that our God and Lord be pleased to give her peace, to guard her and to unite her throughout the whole world, and grant that leading our life in tranquility and quiet. We may glorify God the Father Almighty. Let us kneel. Let us stand. Almighty heavenly God, we Christ to be your glory to all the nations. Watch for the works of your mercy. Let your church spread out all the world. Be persevered, accept God's faith, and confess your name to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray also for our most holy Father, Pope Francis, that our God and Lord who chose him for the order of bishops may keep him safe and unharmed for the Lord's holy church to govern the holy people of God. Let us kneel. Let us stand.
prayer that those who have in any preparation come before you are to rejoice because we are made the mercy of the hand, hand through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. For those of you who have just joined us, again, this is the Good Friday Liturgy coming live from St. Joseph Parish Church here in Belize City. At this time, there is what you call the veneration of the cross, where we just acknowledge the dying of our Lord Jesus Christ as a reminder that he died for our sins.
after the veneration of the cross will be there, there will be distribution of Holy Eucharist and thereafter coming to drawing an end to the Good Friday liturgy. Immediately after the Good Friday liturgy, we will have the Stations of the Cross over in the school compound.
and the Savior's command and whom advantage we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Just not be a salvation. Deliver us from us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Grace to grant peace, Lord, is that the help of your mercy we to be always free from sensitive all distress as we await the best hope and from our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the glory, and the glory Behold, the Lamb of God, behold, who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called the supper of the love.
at this time we have come to the end of Holy Communion this time the Good Friday liturgy have drawn to its conclusion we will be ending our live stream here in the church and we ask you to stay put with us as we will restart a new feed when we go over to the school compound where we will bring you live the Good Friday liturgy for those of you who may not be able to join us for the stations of the cross sorry uh, tomorrow night 6 p.m. local time we will be bringing to you live the Holy Saturday Easter Vigil Mass. Again, we will be ending our live stream now and we will start a new feed over in the school compound for the Stations of the Cross. We ask that you stay with us and please don't leave us. <laughs>